Welcome everyone to Ford Field here in Detroit, Michigan. As we got some Thanksgiving football here between the defending Super Bowl champion Miami Dolphins and the Detroit Lions. Lions not rocking out in their alternate classics that they usually wear on Thanksgiving. They're wearing their regular jerseys with their regular helmets while the Dolphins, winners of seven straight, sitting at a record of eight and two among the best in the NFL, trying to get closer and closer to making the playoffs for a third straight season. Let's get this game underway. Dolphins have it at the 38. It's two attack by Lola on first down, looking deep for DJ Moore. And Moore comes down with the catch at the 10-yard line. Big play right there from Moore, who's made a number of big plays in his debut season as a Dolphin. That is a huge start to this game for the Finns. However, the next play, A.J. Dillon, the running back, will get injured, grabbing at his knee or his ankle. That could be a serious injury as he limps to the locker room. Dillon leads the NFL in rushing yards and has had an incredible season. Into the game, running back will be the former Detroit Lion, Carrion Johnson, as on second and eight. Tua finds Super Bowl MVP, Devontae Parker, for the touchdown, and the uh, Dolphins would take the lead as they are the first ones to score. Here's Matthew Stafford and the Lions offense as Martavis Bryant stuffed up like Thanksgiving turkey by Marlon Humphrey, the former Baltimore Raven. Now second and 11 from the 36. Handoff for Christian McCaffrey, and he loses a yard. Charles Harris is the one making the play as he's not getting up for some reason. Now third and 13, Matthew Stafford. He's going to find his man, Marty B. Where's the weed? Martavis Bryant to the 45, and the Detroit Lions will move the chains. Now it's second and 15 after a false start penalty is Matt Stafford. He's going to move a little bit out of the pocket. Back to Martavis Bryant, this time to the 10 as Detroit is getting closer and closer to the end zone. First down, here's Matthew Stafford. He would find a wide open man in the end zone. That is going to be Demarcus Robinson with the score, and the Lions would tie this game up at seven apiece. The former Florida Gator making the play and former Kansas City Chief. He returns to attack of Iola and the Dolphins offense is Tua. Over to the second year man out of the Ohio State University. That's to Kendrick Manning to the 35-yard line. Now up at 29, time ticking here in the first quarter. 46-yard field goal attempt for Ricky Aguayo. Since Ford Field is a dome, he should have no problem with it as he drills it. Battle in the first quarter here on Thanksgiving. It's the Miami Dolphins who lead it by a score of 10-7. Now into the second quarter, first play from scrimmage is Matthew Stafford. Short pass and a nasty hit from Jabril Peppers. That's Ryan Davis with the catch. Davis will get injured on the play. First down from the 36, Desmond King with the sack. The former Iowa Hawkeye as the Dolphins get it back. Here's two attack of Iola. He will find Trey McKitty, who's in the game for the injured Mike Gusecki who got hurt back in the first quarter with a dislocated shoulder. He's not returning to today's action. Then on third and two, it's going to be DeKendrick Manning for six, showing off the dance moves. And the Dolphins will make it a two-possession game, 17-7. Lions get it back as Matthew Stafford over to Albert Oponibium. Oquinibium, that might be right. I don't know. I probably butchered his name. To the 49-yard line, now second and three. From the 42 is Christian McCaffrey loses two on the play. Former Panther wrapped up by number 69, Quantavius October. Dolphins now have it at the one, but it's going to be Carrion Johnson getting the Dolphins out of safety range a little bit more. 29 yards for the former Lion, Carrion Johnson, who signed with the Dolphins this offseason. Second and 10, back to Johnson for a gain of four. But he got a penalty flag on the play. Clear face mask, and the Zebras would indeed call it a face mask. No doubt about it. The penalty was on Tavares Baker, or Tavares Barker, sorry. Miami moves it to the 37. Tag of Viola. Risky throw. He is Super Bowl MVP. Devontae Parker, the Louisville product, to the 7. Now first and goal. Next play. Tag of Viola. It's going to be tipped and intercepted by Joe Giles Harris, the former Duke Blue Devil, as the Lions get lucky, and this game will remain a two-possession deficit. 
Can Detroit drive down the field and make this one a little bit closer headed into the half? Short pass for McCaffrey. He only gains a loss of four. And that would end the first half. Miami Dolphins lead it by a score of 17-7. to As they've definitely been the better team up to this point. But Detroit does still have a chance. As they're always a threat to win at home on Thanksgiving. Not to mention they do start the second half off with the football. Here's Matthew Stafford. Short pass. As it's going to be a big gain for Detroit all the way to the 33-yard line. Excellent play right there. Now third and five. Stafford looking for the end zone. He's going to be intercepted by Jabril Peppers. Taking a knee in the end zone. Big play for Peppers. His third INT on the year. Former Cleveland Brown. Now second and one. When in doubt. Carry on. There's carry on Johnson. Tippy toes in bounds. Big gain for him as he passes the century mark on that play as he has had no problem filling in for A.J. Dillon. Fake handoff for Adrian Killens as there's to Kendrick Manning for a gain of 24, bringing it to the 10-yard line. Very next play, here's to attack of Viola. He would look and he would find Devontae Parker, his second score of the day, and he's going to do the shuffle into the end zone. Dolphins make it 24-7. It's Matthew Stafford. Back to McCaffrey. As McCaffrey has had no room to run all day. Carl Lawson with the tackle. That'll make it second and 12 here for Detroit. As Matthew Stafford under pressure. Stafford looking deep. And then it will be caught. One-on-one -on -one coverage. But it will be held on. And the Lions will move the chains. Now second and 10. Christian McCaffrey loses even more yards. Jabril Peppers with the play. Ricky Wagner is actually injured. That could be a big loss for this Lions O-line. Fourth and four. They're just going to play it safe and take the points. The kick from Graham Gano is good. And now it is 24-10 with 321 left in the third. Miami Dolphins have it back. It's two attack of Ilola on first down. He's going to look deep. He has Devontae Parker, who gets flattered to the ground by, I believe, Miles Killebrew. Hard hit right there, but Parker still playing very well. Third and one. It's going to be back to Parker this time for six as he was covered like a blanket by the defensive back. Lucas Dennis was also nearby. Now it's 31-10. to 10. Lions driving. Stafford on first down. Sacked by Carl Lawson moving the Lions back to the 28-yard line. And then the next play, Stafford looking deep. He would find Martavis Bryant for six, and the Lions will make it a two-possession game once again. 31-17, now our score is Tagovailoa looking deep. One-on-two coverage of Devontae Parker. Moss is Miles Killebrew. That's revenge right there. Big grab for Devontae. Super Bowl MVP Parker. That will lead to a rookie Aguayo field goal, making it 34-17, as Stafford would find Demarcus Robinson Brought down past the 50 and around the 47. Nice gain of about 23. Very next play. 404 left to go as Matthew Stafford under pressure. He would be sacked. Carl Lawson's second sack of the quarter. And that would make it fourth and nine. Lions have to go for it. They don't really have a choice. Under three minutes left to go as Marlon Humphrey is the one who picks that one off. His third of the season. As Humphreys dropped plenty of interceptions all year, but he does get that one. Second and eight, here's on Johnson fighting his way for a first down, pretty much ending this football game as he has 150 yards up to this point. Lions would somehow get the ball back. 17 seconds left, Matthew Stafford. He is hoping for a prayer, but he'd be intercepted by Jabril Peppers. Peppers is actually going to do a little damage with it. As he will be brought down at the 50, his second INT of the day, his second interception of the game, just like how he had two all season. And the Dolphins end up winning 34-17, their eighth straight win, spoiling the Thanksgiving fun here in Motown as all these players are feeling mo Hey, hey, man!